Hey everybody, it's Brad at Daypoor Brothers LLC out in Versailles, Ohio. Gonna do another walk around video followed by an operational video on this 2011 Toro TX427 that came in and we're putting up for sale. Like always, I'll walk around, I'll get close to everything, I'll talk about features and functions. Then we'll start it up, run it around, kind of run it through its paces, show you how everything functions. As always, if you are in the market for a used skid steer, a used piece of construction, or a used piece of farm equipment, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video. Your likes and subscriptions help other people find our videos who are looking for similar things, and we truly, truly appreciate it. All right, like I said, this one's a 2011. Stand on, front auxiliary hydraulics. It's got the Kohler gas engine, 535 pound lift capacity, and an 1,882 pound operating weight. This one has 1,704 hours. I just cranked it up a little bit ago, ran it around. Hydraulics are strong. All the functions seem to work like they're supposed to. Uh, the pins up here are actually fairly tight. No excessive wear up there. As you can see, it's got uh, some kind of faded to the paint and this black up here has actually probably been touched up as you can tell on that side of the loader arm. Down here, it's got some of the paint missing on that bottom rail. The tracks are decent. There's definitely some tread life left in those. They're not brand new by any stretch of the imagination, but they are pretty decent. <clears throat> All the rollers seem to be pretty good. It tracks good and strong. It turns strong to both directions. It does have on have the little sulky stand on. Back here, again, this side, getting up close to the track, matches up really well to the other side. Pretty decent tread life there on those tracks. I don't see any cracks or welds or anything or plating on the loader arms of the skid steer plate. There's a little bit of a ding here. As you can see, some of that red paint there has been touched up at some point. The bucket's pretty straight. I don't notice any bows in that. I don't see any holes in the back, you know, where it's worn through anywhere down there. See if I can open this up and take a look inside the look down in here in the engine compartment. As you can see, everything's pretty dry down there. I don't see any oil or anything running down the side of it here. Like I said, 17.04 on the hours. Here's your operator controls, your loader, your drive, auxiliaries. All right, like I said, this one's a 2011, 17.04 on the hours. We'll get right into an operational video.